Hey, uh, I am Aaron Fides. Uh, Tyler tried to get a real chef for this, but uh, Molly could come up with. So, um, from Hardy's Fresh Foods, and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna bone out a turkey today to uh, roll and tie it. Tell us we, where tell us where we're at. We got. We oh got, yeah, uh, we are at Knives of Serenity. So if you can like see all this, and this gorgeous knife here that uh, they've uh, kindly allowed me to use. Um, yeah, and we're, we're gonna bone out a turkey. Uh, it's the first time I've done this in a decade, but I think it'll be fine. So um, the backstory is, is that we were talking last night and decided that we needed to do a deboning turkey video. I had no clue how to do that, and I think I kind of know what I'm doing uh, with a knife, but uh, our friends at Serenity are super cool. This is the second year that we posted this, and it's all about uh, you know, improving your knife skills and getting you ready to be a, a champ for the holidays. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Serenity, but it's our favorite place to get our knives sharpened in Houston. And, uh, yeah, take it away, Aaron. Indeed. Um, and uh, when we came up with this, uh, was alcohol involved in the conversation? Yes. Oh, oh okay. Cool. So, um, press the turkey, thighs, wings, legs. Um, we're going to start off. Uh, and so, so. Many of you have boned out a bird, um, you know, break, broken down in chicken. Uh, nothing here is complicated, but it just takes a while. So um, we're just really uh, gently, so we're just going to break the little wing and just go through, see that? Just go through that little bit of cartilage nice and gently right there. Did I miss it on my first cut? No, there we are. So, and uh, take that out. There we go. Take that wing. Da da. Come over here. Break that joint, and then get that little piece of, there it is, right through there. And you don't want to put the, the knife through the bone, you just want to bring it through the joint. Then what we're going to do is put the breast, so we're going to just flip it over here, and uh, just really slowly, um, we're going to start to cut into the back. This knife is way sharper, in all honesty, than anything I've had in some time, so that's awesome. And we're just gonna like really slowly just cut down the, uh, the back here. And we're looking for two things. Here we're gonna be looking for the wing joint. And actually there's a little bone that's gonna come out here and kind of get in the way. And then we're going to look for the, uh, the thigh joint. So just nice and slow. Coming right down here, there it is. There's that joint. And bring it down there. Okay, I'm a big fan of, once we find it, just, there we go, breaking that nice, nice wonderful sound there. So we've gone through it. Is that a wonderful sound? I, I mean, it was, it was a bone popping out of the socket with flesh flopping all around, so probably not. So anyways, we've worked down here this little bit of flesh and then come up. There's an annoying little bone here. I think it's which bone people take that out oftentimes. I've got the uh, the wing joint here as well. Prepare for another wonderful, wonderful sound. There we go. That's really great. So come in there, come in there. And we're gonna work from the back here. Da -da. Great. So. There's that, dun, dun. just nice and gently. Here we are, we'll go through that little bit of cartilage, right there. I guess I didn't break it. There we go. Perfect, okay. So, just come down nicely, neatly. Calmly. There we are. Gosh, that knife is sharp. Yeah, it's quite sharp, a little scary. So, I'm not gonna try to butcher it and like uh, cut the breasts up. Uh. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. And whatever you do, you don't want to cut through all the skin in here. So we want to keep that on and intact. There we go. 
doing pretty good for someone that hasn't done this in a decade. Yeah, you know, it's okay. It's okay. The main thing is you don't want to hack the chicken, the, the chicken, the turkey breast up. Okay, so controversial. So some people with doing this like to uh, like to start by cutting in through under here. I'm a big fan of doing the other side kind of the same way and then taking the carcass off. Um, so this is going to be kind of reversed. So here we are. So you're basically trying to get that middle chunk of bone out of it. To start, yeah. yeah. We're trying to get the middle chunk of bone out. And just be nice and gentle. And you're gonna have to go around that bone there, around the neck. Can you tell the viewers what you'd like to do with the bones? What would you recommend once with soldiers? So my favorite thing, we'll show after this, is once you have the big carcass, take it and take it right from here with a cleaver, break it in half, roast it. And the reason you're gonna break it in half is because it's gonna then fit better into a stock pot. You're not gonna have this huge big, and then just make a really nice stock out of the, uh, the roasted bones. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Mm. And where's that joint? Oh, there it is, my joint. So, nice, wonderful sounds. We're gonna make with this, uh, eh, get in there more first. There we go. Cool, so, gonna pop this joint out. Sounds really uh, nice if I can get my, uh, get my hand actually in there. There we go, cool, done. So, Pop that out, got a tiny little bit of cartilage to go through here. Nothing much. There we are. Cool. And then we're gonna look for the wing joint. Dun, dun, dun. I actually got that. Silly me. doing that I'm just gonna show you this knife shop it's such a treasure so heart of the heights fourth and harvard and uh, right here they sell lots of japanese knives american made knives and pretty much everything you see behind here and on the walls knives that they make here at the shop so all right making some progress here <clears throat> all right just trying to Get in that little little bit right there. Okay, so we've got that all splayed open. And forgive me, it's taking me a little bit with this tiny knife to get through. It's being difficult. I just had surgery, so this arm's. <laughs> I was just thinking that <laughs> this arm doesn't work like it used to. <laughs> but uh, anyways, here we are. So. There we go. We found it without popping it. So found that joint. Did a all right. Come through like so. All right. So that's all that. Come down. Dun dun. Dun dun. The big boy. So now we're just going to take it off the carcass. The part we've all been waiting for. <laughs> well, hold, don't hold your breath. There we go. Okay. Now 
that's that. What are we doing here? We're uh, essentially cutting. So to illustrate it on myself, we're essentially cutting the breasts off and keeping it under the skin so we don't cut through the skin. So we're trying to keep it all in one nice little piece. And uh, go. But essentially our end goal with this is we're gonna be able to like take all the bones out of it, stuff it, truss it back up, and mm -hmm. roast it in the oven for a period of time. Exactly and what is the advantage of deboning a turkey versus so, roasting it whole? So you know that awkward time at the the dinner table where you are carving the turkey around the bones and all that. This way you can just go cut, 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 cut. And it's just a cool presentation as well. Um, that way, you know, and you also, you get the carcass to make the stock out of before you actually roast off the turkey. So that's, uh, that's quite an advantage. That does make sense. So you could use the stock and the other dishes uh, on your Thanksgiving table. Absolutely or just make a really nice sauce or one of my favorite things to do is a cream of garlic soup which is uh it's like roasted garlic and turkey stock oop that's a nice sound and uh there we are just a tiny little bit more there we go clean up all the tiny bits. All right, so there is the carcass. It's uh, actually pretty clean. I'm almost impressed by that. Um, and as you can see, so there's a couple little things that you just want to clean, clean up. up. Yeah, Yeah. you just want to clean up. That's totally still frozen in the middle, uh, <laughs> uh, which is okay. So you clean up those little things. Um, you don't have a spot that I can throw that there carcass to you, so I have a little more. Do a bag, we're gonna, we're gonna save it, so I'm gonna throw it in the trash can. Yeah. Okay. Either or. So now that you've got that, okay, you've got a couple, couple things. Um, do, 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 do. So most people will actually, and I think it's what we're going to do. Most people will actually take off this wing joint here uh, as well. Like I used to do preparations where we'd leave some of the legs and some of the wings on after we take out the main carcass. So we're going to actually just bone out. Forgive me. I, that I have no strength in my right arm right now, so then uh, I'm gonna just take take that out. Ta da Cool. Same thing with the other side. We're just gonna and the knuckle. Take that out. Okay. You guys can find a bag by chance, did you? Yeah, we're good. Okay. We'll just move that over here. All right. So we're gonna start with laying this all out like so dun -dun. and there we go. and we're going to start taking these bones out here so you just kind of make a cut in here and then once you can get around the head of this bone here it's a lot easier you can just kind of slide a knife from under here dun -dun. There, same thing on the other side. I'm gonna just find this bone, bring it down like so. Get your fingers in there. 
try not to cut Tyler too much. He's a little bit. Yeah. And also, once again, we're at we're at Serenity Knives with Chef Aaron. Um, the covering chef. Knives here in the Heights. Um, they also sell a lot of really great other kinds of knives, lots of kitchen knives, Japanese knives, bench made dealer. Okay, back to watching you debone this beautiful turkey. Yeah, it was kind of pretty, it wasn't beautiful. So there we go, take that bone out here. So now we've just got one wing bone, one leg bone in. And in all honesty, I love uh, butching it out to this point and tying it, but it's gonna be a very uh, complicated tying process if you do that. So what we're gonna do, and don't worry about the skin here, is we're going to come down here, cut that, start cutting that out. Uh, this bone and then she can get in there and there's gonna be a lot of tendons and sinew and stuff here that you're gonna have to get into in, in just a minute so but once you can get your knife there a whole lot easier there we are okay Uh, don't worry about that piece of skin right there. So you want to use a knife about this size, is that right, Chef? Yeah, yeah probably. I mean, honestly, I prefer bigger, but I think if you aren't used to doing a lot of butchery work, then you probably don't want to use anything bigger. Oops, excuse me, some tendons and some bony bits going on the floor. So here, you're gonna have a bunch of these little things. The best thing to actually do is to take it out with pliers, but I don't actually have any pliers, so we're just going to really quickly and simply just knife it out. Here we all. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, we're just There's quite a bit of them. Oh yeah, it's a huge pain. So, pliers. Go to the garage, get some pliers if you don't have culinary pliers. There we all. And you can kind of get all of them out in one whack here. On. This is actually probably the biggest pain of the whole thing. The, the most uh, heart wrenching or gut wrenching part is uh, is right when you're about to uh, take the skin off the carcass or take the breastbone off the carcass. But this is the biggest pain. So again, just grab pliers and do this at home. It'll be a lot. All the little sinew pieces out. We've got one little piece of cartilage and the bone in. Just a tiny bit of cleanup here. Cool. Done. Okay. And if you want to throw that stuff in the bag, that would be cool. Next, same thing on the other side. We're just going to make the incision down the bone. Sorry, should I not have called it the incision, like, like that? Um, Again, all those fun little tendons here. I might actually just take them out while I got the bone in. Oh, I'm not gonna skip the ball. There we go. That's the technique. I forgot about that. There we go. So you haven't ordered your turkeys yet for Thanksgiving. A um, couple of sources. You can pre-order uh, with a deposit from Blackwood Land Institute. I think they're still taking orders. Um, but usually our advice is that you talk to your farmer well in advance because we only have so many 
uh, turkeys. Did I say chickens earlier? Uh, you might have. I might have. So we only have so many turkeys each year, and you can't just show up on Thanksgiving weekend and hope to get a turkey. You might, you might luck out if uh, some aren't spoken for, but um, that's probably your your best bet. As uh, either three sisters, Tails Heritage Barn sells some as well. Cool. Okay. All right. So we've got uh, this whole turkey minus the wings boned out. You can see that. Nice solid piece of skin through here. Dun -dun, perfect for tying. So, see that? It's all boned out. Um, I think it's kind of cool to leave in the wings, but we're not going to do it. So, we're just going to take it out. Similar, similar technique as with the thigh and drumstick, although less of a pain, usually. So start to finish, this is about a 20 minute process. Maybe not the most perfect thing for us to do on a Facebook Live in hindsight, but uh, if you haven't done this before, give yourself an hour. Yeah, but uh, anyways, here are the, uh, the bones for the bag. So we have, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, uh, just to, get to see if there's any super tough yeah, pieces. Yeah, double, double check for bones. Your goal is to not have any, right? Yeah, goal is to not have any, but um, I think we're actually pretty good. We oh, one little, one little piece of, See any silvery skin right there, but besides that, this is a uh, whole boned out turkey. And if you do it, so I, I was going to tie this for you guys, but we forgot the twine. So add your stuffing and then just roll and tie. You're going to have like that little open spot at the bottom, but you can actually just stuff everything in here and, uh, and tie it up. And that's a full boned rolled turkey. So that's what I have for y'all. Good work, my friend. Well, I tried.